how to use monday.com for social media management hey everyone and welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i'll walk you through what you need to do to actually start using monday.com for your social media now this is going to be basically help you quite a lot when planning for your content that you want to upload for your social media uh, and all of those things so basically monday.com is a project management uh, tool and also crm it's just going to really have a lot of tools to help you out and you can start completely for free if you go to monday.com you can just get started right away and we can also check the pricing real quick you can see that you also have a free plan for you uh where you will have like uh, three boards and, and so on you have some sort of uh starting kit for you to test things out and maybe even upgrade in the future but for the time being you can just go ahead and get started for free test things out and we can see exactly how it's going to look like so for the time being we can just go ahead uh, and i'm just going to show you how it's going to look like from the inside so i have just created this account so i can show you exactly how to use it for social media now by default they're going to ask you to create a board and all of those things but i'm going to show you from within the inside how to actually go ahead and create a proper board for your social media so you will have your workspace here which should have the name my team but if you have multiple it doesn't really matter you just go to any workspace and we will basically create a new board so to do so and create a new board we would want to just click on add item to workspace and then from here you will need to go to the board section now here are going to be two different options that you can go for either go with a template which i highly suggest if you have never used um, a platform like a project management pla platform before like uh, monday.com or any other platform uh, but if you did use it you can also start from scratch but for the time being i'm just going to start with template and i may also show you how to start with uh from scratch because it's actually very easy and simple it doesn't really require a lot of knowledge to be able to pull it off and basically here you will have plenty of templates to choose from but i highly i highly recommend that you go to the search bar over on, on the top and just search for social media and you will find already by monday.com a social media planner which is going to work well with what we are looking for just click on it and we can just click on use template and it's just going to take a little bit of time for it to load things up and I'll show you exactly how we can use it and utilize it to our um, benefits here. So once it actually finishes up, we can see here we have the, uh, let me minimize this. We have the social media planner section here and we have the social media plan. Uh, and uh, this is going to be the page, which is just going to show us, show us exactly what we need to go for. The strategy, the content, approvals and all of those things. And you can also utilize this and replace all of this. Uh, in here but i'm not really going to discuss about this i'm going to be talking about the actual planner here so from within the planner they're going month by month but you can very easily change this so we can just make it week number one and you can just set up all the days within it and you can also set up a new group which is going to be week two and so on so i'm just going to actually do that so let me just go ahead and change group number one to make it instead of month one we can just make it week one and then we can add the new group, which is going to be week number two. But before I actually jump into talking about how to also add more items, let's talk about what is actually actually in here that we can actually use. So here we have the groups, which is going to basically allow us to group um, tool like uh, projects or uh, you could say content that we want to upload or days or whatever it may be uh, that you want to actually group within them uh this for the in this case is going to group days so we can just see like day one day two until seven and here also we would want to follow the same pattern but also within the group you can see more elements here so for example we have post posting schedule so you would want to know exactly when to post it uh the content you can also do post copy which is going to be basically more like um details you can see content uh, categories here i believe uh, and obviously all everything on the top here that you can see you can completely change or remove completely like you want so it's completely up to you so content uh, category you can feel free to actually add more categories to it if you would like 
or you can just simply go ahead and delete, delete this entire section and you can just move on so we can do image design here you can see we can have uh, the uh, design status so we can actually go ahead and uh, set up a status for them we can also set up urls edited images um, and then we have facebook posting status twitter instagram pinterest and linkedin uh, which you can also add more if you would like or remove some so if, for example if you don't have linkedin you can just go ahead and delete this instead of it you know taking much space uh, and then we have this one which is auto number and last updated uh, is just going to show us even more but i'm just going to remove the things that we don't really need so we can just remove uh, all of this and also i'm just going to remove pinterest or actually instead of removing pinterest let's say you actually want to have youtube so we can actually go ahead and remove this uh, and just type in youtube instead and now we can see the status for each one so for example day one you can see the facebook post is published we can change it to be scheduled or first for scheduling sorry uh, and same goes for the rest of them so for example how is it going to work is day one you have facebook posting did it did you post it or not is it published or not is it scheduled or not and so on so you can go ahead and set up the status for each single one of them and let's say you actually want more columns were like the same thing here you can simply just duplicate them so you can just go for this one click on the three dots next to it and we can just click on duplicate column uh column only and you can see here we can have this entire column now so we can just rename it so that it is something else so let's just actually go ahead and put back uh linkedin there you go and we have it good to go so now we can actually set it up so it's published or scheduled or for scheduling and so on if you want to add more labels you can simply do so from here click on new label give it a name and a color and it should be actually uh good to go so you can actually see the status over here status bar for each one down here as well uh edited images i'm not really going to use so i'm just going to remove it so just go ahead remove exactly what you don't want and if you want to add a completely unique column to yourself click on add column and in here you will have a lot of options so you can add timeline you can add a date so for example you want to, to specify exactly the date i believe it did ha like we did have it already but if not you can just simply add it from here if you want to add a drop down priority uh, label so on you can also add all of those things uh, in here so you can just manage all of it and then we can just go ahead once we are done with all of this we can just move on to week two again add day one post copy you would want to go ahead and add description in here we can just go to lead which is going to assign it to a specific person image design i'm going to remove because i'm not really going to use it um design status you can also go ahead and do with this so we can just set up you know statuses for each one so we can just set it set it up to be ready to schedule uh which is going to notify me that this is pretty much ready to go uh and we can just start scheduling it if we want to add a url and then we can just go ahead and start managing this whether it's going to be uh, scheduling for facebook twitter instagram youtube and so on or another way to go about this entire thing is that we can just go ahead and create a new board so we can just go to uh board we can just click on new board let's just not give it a name right now and or actually we can just give it the name uh social media planner and in here instead we can just go for this sort of a feel so we can just do youtube give it the color red we can just do this one for example uh instagram and now instead of having it having it as monthly or weekly or daily we can just have it uh as um like social media wise so we have youtube and everything in here related to it we can set up dates we can set up statuses for every every single content and so on so you can just go about it this way or you can go about it with you know more um more focused on the actual date instead it's completely up to you so with that being said this is pretty much how to use monday.com for social media i obviously just showed you uh, like how to use it but then at the end of the day your your creativity is what's going to actually push you to 
come up with really great ideas on how to manage your your very own social media with monday.com so hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching